Practice less. Win more. PoolTeacher.com Hi, I'm Master Instructor Anthony Beeler, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Gold Bar in Pool. Now, many of you have probably never heard of the Gold Bar before, but today I'm going to talk about this inner game strategy. I'm going to show you how you can use it to your advantage to win games that you thought were never possible to win. So what is the gold bar? The gold bar is an imaginary line from the halfway point of the first diamond and the end rail here. It's the halfway point. You'll notice that it goes all the way across to the other end of the table. The section from here to here is what's referred to as the gold bar. Here's an example of how the gold bar could be beneficial to you in nine ball. Notice that in this nine ball game, the lowest number ball is the two and is located at the other end of the table. My problem area lies in the fact that the four and the six on this end of the table are tied up, preventing me from running out. So what do you do from here? How do you win the game? Well, that's where the goal bar comes in. Here you're trying to do something productive and you're trying to be sure that you do not leave your opponent an easy shot. So in this situation, what we're going to look to do is to thin off the two, bank it one rail to the middle of the end rail, and go up table and leave, my, leave your opponent long. Leave them on, inside the goal bar to play a nice safety. Okay. Now, in many instances, I could have broken up the four or six here. And, you know, that's an advantage that comes with playing this shot. Sometimes you can loosen up the problem area. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But, whether or not that happens, you've still gained a huge advantage. Look at where the cue ball is. It's up here on this end of the table, inside the goal bar, and my opponent has got a long, almost a nine foot shot from the cue ball to the object ball. Anytime you leave your opponent long, it's gonna give them some serious problems. And you know, really and honestly, you could say there's a goal bar on the other end of the table. Stretching equal and opposite to this one. And what you'll notice is I left the two inside the gold bar on this end of the table. And so this creates double problems for your opponent. Not only do they have the long shot, but the two balls on the opposite end of the table located inside this gold bar. Okay, here's another situation where the gold bar can help you win a game. In this instance, you'll notice that the one ball is over next to the side cushion, and I'm hooked on the one by the four and six. In this instance, what we're going to do is go rail first, hit the left side of the one, and use left spin to help the cue ball come up to the other end of the table and leave them on the goal bar. In this instance, what we're trying to do is trying to thin the one, leave it in this vicinity right here. Okay, and let's see what that looks like. You'll notice I've got them inside the gold bar. You'll notice the ones on the lower gold bar, and they've got some severe problems that they're going to have to deal with. Here's another instance where the gold bar comes into play. In this instance, the four and six ball are tied up. And there's very little chance of me being able to run out. So what do I want to do? I want to leave my opponent on the gold bar. So the best way to do this is then off the right side of the one, come back up here two cushions, and leave them inside this area.
just like that. And you can see they've got some severe problems at this point trying to get out of this trap. Here's another uh, situation in nine ball where the gold bar comes into play. Here you'll notice the cue ball is to the right side of the one rather than to the left. And in this instance, what we're going to do is two rail the one to the middle of the end rail and bring our cue ball back up to the gold bar. So this is what that looks like. You can see he's got some real severe problems here. The one ball is on the opposite end of the table, on that gold bar, and the cue ball is on this end of the table, on this gold bar. Okay, now here's another example of the gold bar. Sometimes you'll be playing either bank pool or one pocket. You have a patch of balls located on the other end of the table. And the last thing you want to do is leave your opponent down there where they can either bank one to their pocket or if you're playing bank pool, uh, bank a ball in, loosen up the patch, and then run four or five balls on you. Well, this is where the gold bar comes in. In this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to thin off one of the balls and we're going to come two cushions. Back up table, try to leave them inside the gold bar so that we have an effective safety shot. Just like that. And you'll notice my opponent's got severe problems here. Unless he can come off and he can leave me inside the gold, the gold bar and he's going to have a real difficult time winning this game. And the fact that they're shooting nine feet every time uh, really causes some serious problems whenever they're trying to do something productive. Anytime you can leave your opponent nine feet away on the gold bar, you've gained a distinct advantage. Practice these shots that I've showed you. Practice them over and over until you can execute them just about every time that you attempt them. They will improve your game significantly. Nick Varner is the gentleman who nicknamed that portion on the end cushion the gold bar. And the reason that he said it's the gold bar is because if you leave your opponent there enough times, you'll get the gold. Practice these, and I think you'll get the gold more often than ever before.